Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I got a request from one of our YouTubers for an answer. They're trying to figure out why friends seem to be disappearing and why there are so many born-again Christians who are living just as wildly as the world. And it makes life quite lonely when one is trying to live holy according to God's ways. Well, let me share this with you. For those of you who are dealing with that dilemma, when you cut your friends loose, you are doing what's necessary. At the beginning of your walk with the Lord, whether you're coming back to Him or whether you're starting for the first time, I call it the incubation period. Without the incubation period, your walk will end up being topsy-turvy and an oscillating one where one time you're up and on top and the next you're at the bottom of your game. And guilt tripping. Well, when you have allowed God to process you through the incubation, ask me how I know, you end up getting deeply rooted. You get deeply rooted in the word. You get deeply rooted in your relationship with God. You get so deeply rooted that you start developing an ear for God's voice, a sense of being led by God's Holy Spirit. And when you obey him, when it is very unpopular to do so, when you have to suffer loneliness and oftentimes ridicule for trying so hard to do things God's way, that's when you please God. Now, you may be a major irritant to people, but trust me when I say they don't count right now. Right now. God is all you have to worry about. Pleasing. God is all you have to worry about as having. Uh, how can I say this so it makes sense? God is the only friend you need to worry about having right now. Honestly. Because God knows how to pick and choose your friends for you. But right now, he wants you to be so in sync. So you have to become in sync with him. You can't learn how to do the tango while someone else is grabbing your hand saying, no, girl, let's do the twist. Or somebody else is saying, no, let's do ballroom dancing. Or someone else is saying, I just learned this movement and tap. You have to focus on one thing. When you focus on that one thing, you feed it, you develop it, you get strong in it, and guess what? You get great at it. Mm -hmm. And you're not allowing the distractions of the other interests to pull you away from staying on task with the things of God. This is your learning time. This is your time to be healed from inner wounds, from, from hurts from the past. This is your time to ask God to enable you to forgive. I mean, when it comes to the incubation period, you literally have to build up your immune system. You have to detox your whole system. And detoxing means there are things you have to do without that may not harm others. But you, for now, you have to do without. You have to mean business and be so determined that you are willing to experience the loneliness for a season. You have to be so determined to be touched by God personally that you are willing to be out of touch with some of your most precious acquaintances for a season (sighs) 
when God shelves you, when God sets you aside, when he sets you apart for his use, he has to do a lot of work on you, with you, and in you. You hear me? So in order for you to emerge changed, empowered, strengthened, whole, you have to go through cleansing, purification, inner healing. Oh, yes. You'd be surprised how getting rid of some of those old roots of bitterness and and rejection and abandonment and abuse how all of that changes who you are and how you respond to life's many challenges down the road so now is the time to get deep just like the palm tree get your roots deep don't worry about company right now you will get that trust me fellowship will be rich but right now your relationship with God, your walk with God, and your power has to be of such that it is not contaminated by the things that pull at your heartstrings for now. Okay? Later on, they won't be able to affect you, but right now, oh, lightweight things can pull you away so and pull you off your beaten path you don't want that so allow the loneliness and ask God to minister to you so that the loneliness loses its sting and you start feeling the reward of God's smile on your life you start feeling the reward of God's presence showing up in your living room Ooh. Oh yeah, it gets really beautiful, but it does take that hurtful experience to get to that glorious one. Allow it. Go with it. Don't fight it. Don't allow the distractions and your own desires to lure you away. That is Satan's tactic to keep you from really connecting with God. Because once you become, once you get in sync with God, his ways, his heart, his mind, his Holy Spirit. Huh. Yeah, you'll be something to reckon with. The enemy will not want to tangle with you. Trust me. And you will become a beacon of light to many of those who are half-stepping stepping, and many of those who don't even give a you-know-what about God. But when something hits the fan in their life, Guess who they're going to come to for prayer after they have already ridiculed you and made little snide remarks and cut you loose like a disease. They'll come back. But when they come back, you will be ready. God bless you. Be encouraged. All right. All right. That's an order. <laughs>